In this video we take a look at the cable stitch. Stay with me and I'll show you how. Cable stitch can come in different varieties but essentially it is where the stitches are twisted around each other to make a coiled pattern and it usually has purl stitches on either side to make it stand out. In this demonstration I have a border of three knit stitches, then three purl stitches and there are six stitches in the centre for the cable. It looks like a hard and intricate stitch but it's actually quite simple. So let's get started. As well as our yarn and our standard needles, we will also need a cable needle. These are small double pointed needles, either straight or curved. I just have the straight ones. They normally come in a pack of four with different sizes. And we use either the same size or the next size down from our needle. To begin I've cast on with 18 stitches and knitted four rows of garter stitch. We knit the first three stitches. We purl the next three stitches. We knit the next six stitches. We purl the next three stitches. And knit the last three. On the back side of our work, we purl the first three stitches. We knit the next three stitches. We purl the next six stitches. Knit the next three. And purl the final three. Now we're going to knit our first cable row. We start off as normal, knitting our first three stitches. We purl the next three. Now we've come to the centre six stitches where we're going to do our cable. We take our cable needle and we slip the next three stitches purl wise. We let those three stitches sit on the needle at the front of our work. And we knit the next three stitches. Now we come back to the stitches on the cable needle and we knit those three stitches off the needle. So the centre stitches have been twisted around each other. Let's continue with the row. We purl the next three and we knit the final three. The back side of the work always remains the same. Purl three, knit three, purl six, knit three, and purl the final three. Our next row, we knit three, purl three. Knit six, purl three, and knit three. And on the back side, we purl three, knit three, purl six, knit three, and purl three. 
Now that we've done a few rows, we can see our pattern start to form, the indents with the purl stitches, and the twist where we did our first cable. So let's do our next cable. We knit three, purl three, we take our cable needle, and we slip the next three stitches purl wise. We let those hang towards the front, and we knit the next three stitches. We then pick up our cable needle, and we knit off those three stitches. And we continue the row, purl three, and knit the final three. And on the back side, we purl three, knit three, purl six, knit three, and purl three. And we carry on in the same way, repeating the same four rows as we go. The first row, we knit three, purl three, knit six, Purl three, and knit three. For row two, we purl three, knit three, purl six, knit three, and purl three. Row three, we knit three, purl three, We take our cable needle and we slip the next three stitches purl wise, letting the needle and those three stitches hang at the front. Knit the next three. We then knit the three on our cable needle. Purl three and knit three. And for the fourth row, we purl three. We knit three. Purl six, knit three, and purl three. Carry on repeating those four rows until you reach your desired length. And with a few rows done, we can see we have our twisted cable pattern. And that's how to do the cable stitch.